Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you about uh, infantry tactics, poor infantry tactics and poor weapon tactics which led to the stalemate at the Western Front. It comes from two main reasons. Uh, firstly, both sides thought that this war was going to be a short war and one of movement so that it didn't prepare for the use of military and inf uh, infantry and weaponry tactics. And both sides thought that sending men over trenches in frequent waves combined with artillery was enough to win the war, which clearly it wasn't. It just led to more of a stalemate, more of a stalemate. It was only until the latter stages of the war that both sides started to develop tactics and for weapons and infantry. And the second reason is that many weapons used in World War I were new weapons and were untested in any major battle environment. For example, the machine guns were never used in any previous major battle environment, as it was developed by Maxim in 1884. Generals had no previous experience of dealing with machine guns, so they couldn't develop tactics for it until they tested it out against their enemy. This is also why generals, especially Haig, had reservations about the t tank when it was first introduced. It was first introduced in the Battle of the Somme in World War I. Tanks were incredibly slow and had trouble moving over trenches. They were a terror weapon, so they shocked the other team, which was useful, but they were very unreliable, as they would frequently get stuck in the mud and broke down. Like the engines just couldn't cope with how much they had, how much distance they had to travel, and the treads just had constant mud stuck in them from the soft chalky soil at in the Battle of the Somme. They were, when the when they were used, half of them ended up breaking down at the Battle of Fleurs Corselet in the Somme. Summing up, infantry tactics were poor with weapon tactics because they were unable to adapt to the new sort of weapons they had. Generals at the start of the war were still using old-fashioned tactics for cavalry and were facing weapons that did much more damage and were able to kill many more troops. As the war progressed, generals were able to develop tactics around weapons they had, they had once they fully knew how to use them. For example, they started to develop the fire and maneuver tactic the creeping barrage and hootier tactics.